play with Greg. Well, that, that's, that's at least showing up on the volume meter, so let's see if it works. Okay. All right. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. I'm looking at cheap. I am looking at cheap that are managing to jump two and a half blocks in the air. <laughs> Come over to the sheep pen. You know how I put the um, uh, fences up in the air? I'm still having sheep jump on top of the fence. Uh, oh, you mean you, you want to go into the ravine? Yeah, I can go get some iron because it will not let me get my armor. Okay. Well, there's always the way you normally go into the ravine. That's not an option. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come, come over here. Um, do you see me? I actually have not seen you all game. Okay. I'm over by the sand by the side of the water. I'm in the water now. <clears throat> I'm not by the sheep. Do you see me? Look towards the ocean. You see me right in front of you? Yes. Where I'm standing, you are right in front of me. I'm 20 blocks from you. Alright. Can I hit you? What? No. Well, oh God, way over there. Yeah. Now you're holding some just, uh, wheat. Yep. Some beach next to some actually full grown wheat. Yep, so that's me. Around. Okay. Count up my name. Okay. You see this hole in the water over here? I looked at all the holes. I couldn't find the correct hole. Come over here. Come over to... What? You're standing in the same place you were before. Jail it, Ross. Every time. All right. Do you have... Um, what's my light level displaying the, the coordinates? I did not get a chance to get that today. I was really busy. Darn it. So I can't tell you where I'm at, and it won't make any sense. But you you really don't see me. I'm just... I'm standing in the water next to some wheat now and torches. I'm next to wheat and torches. Right. And as you come closer, you'll see two more torches. There it is. Okay. Yeah. That's the way down okay. into the ravine. Okay. That's the, that's the correct way down to the ravine. I, should, I might ask. Yes. Yes. <laughs> the correct way down. Yes. And let me come and give you a hand. It's the middle of the daylight. Hmm? Oh, I see him. I see the bastard. Where? Standing up there, being all menacing and whatnot. Which direction? Because I don't see him yet. He's on the cliff. All right. Where are you? I'm right behind you. Oh, there you are. Look up. <laughs> 
Okay, I don't have any weapons, swords, or anything, so we probably should not stay here. You really could not get any iron from, from the chest, or armor from the chest? Yeah, I want to take the armor. Let me have everything with the armor. That's very weird. Okay, grab those two iron, and let's go, up, go, let's go back and try to solve that. This was supposed to be a fix the uh, crop damage. Wait, what? This was supposed to be fix the crop damage, not go monster hunting. I know, I know. Oh, my armor. We didn't leave anything in this chest down here, did we? Uh, I don't think we left anything in this chest down here, did we? Uh, we might have checked it first. All right. Oh, oh, it's 2 a.m. It's not 12 a.m. It's middle of the night. So, yeah, this is a danger yeah. time. All right. Yes, I got some bread. Right. Pumpkin seed. You, I found the pumpkin seed you said you were looking for. Oh, wait, no, I have bread. Sorry, what now? I said I found the pumpkin seed you were looking for. Oh, yeah, I got more. All right. So yeah, I'm keeping an eye out. I don't see anybody coming after us. There's some iron back this way. Where? Floor by the water. I don't have any tools. Yeah, I don't have any tools with me or any materials to make tools. Oh, no, fine. Yeah. Fine. All right. Now where'd you go? Okay. Fire. All right. So let, let's head back to the base and let's fix fix your your chest actions. Let's, let's get the chest. You said you were having trouble getting to the chest, right? Well, no, it was. I was. It wasn't having trouble accessing the chest. It was that my armor was not yet. Oh, oh. No, I'm not wearing armor either. Well, well, well. Let's make sure. Let's check. We've there's a, several chests up there, and I know I saw the armor before. The last time I was on, I took a look when I was fixing up all of the um, pens. I know that I saw the armor in there. What? Did you just fall in a hole? Yes, I just kind of made a hole. I saw it. I see that. It's a good thing I put some extra torches down there, isn't it? Yes, yes, it is. All right. Okay. Oh, no, I don't. Ah! <laughs> yeah, you monster. Give me my, 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 All right, we have sunrise. So safety is no longer quite as big a concern. Come on, at the very least, let's go back so I can make some tools and help you out. Yeah. Um, I'm going to take that fire. 7, 8, 15, 19, um, like 24 total. Yeah. Oops. Um, <laughs> There's a little staircase here. Or just take the water up. Be careful, that I believe there's a fairly good sized cave over there that is partly explored. Okay. Come back this way. I will. I forget my iron. Okay, I'm heading upstairs. I'm heading upstairs. I'm gonna make some tools. If you die, don't expect me to do another death run for you. That's what you said last time. <laughs> I won't. I won't do it. It won't happen again. At least not this way. It will not happen to me dying by falling in the water. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
First thing I want to do is fix the farm damage. Next thing I want to do, yes. Next thing I want to do is see about something for the sheep pen. We're, we have to figure out a way to get 16 pens for 16 colors of sheep. And of course, we need to start breeding lots and lots of sheep to make 16 colors. Yeah, I'll make a run, make a sheep run. <laughs> so how do they jump two and a half blocks in the air? I don't know. Like spider sheep or something, they jump around do what they want. Yeah. All right. So hold the wheat, breed the sheep. That's two of them. Read the sheep. Come on, sheepy. Come on, sheepy. Sheepy. Oh. Okay. Is that everybody fed wheat? Is that everybody fed sheep? Come on. I'm trying. You. One of you is not yet bred. Which of you needs? There you go. There you go. Now I got. Yeah, are they both in love mode? Yeah, they're both in love mode at the same time. Okay. Now I have to get out of here. <laughs> yes. Okay. So. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Out of the way. All right. Open the fence. Run out. Close the fence. And I think it worked. Trees are starting to grow. And I'm running out of places to put them if I'm just spreading them out. I discovered the hard way that planting them in this uh, tree farm of mine resulted in a loss of saplings. I actually ran I actually ran out of saplings, believe it or not. What? I ran down to like I ran down to like two or three saplings because my tree farm was consuming saplings faster than it was producing saplings. Well, yeah, but um, my my tree farm at one point was a five by twenty row of spaces where I just plopped saplings down. So I would plant a hundred saplings and grow like fifteen or twenty new ones. So I ran out of saplings fairly quickly, actually. Well, the classic epic, the classic epic quest for us, um, and I'm really sorry I didn't record our last attempt at it, is, of course, chicken. We're in the quest epic for chicken. Yes. That sound that sounds like a really bad uh sixteen bit adventure game. Yes, it does. I'd I'd say it's more like an eight bit though. Okay. Just because they're lazy. Just knowing the creators out there are lazy. Isn't that right, Mr. Adam West Slap Dog? If you can hear me and you're alive, please get back to work on Wednesday and make your map the bridge. Right now, or so help me God. All right. A shout out to that person. Okay. I don't know if you know who that is, but a lot of people do. I'm wrong. Because people never make videos for some reason. It's been like a year since he made the last one. And who was that a shout out to? I didn't catch the name. I don't know if he's on YouTube. All right. All right. I forgot to eat. That's how you become anorexic, Michael. Be careful. <laughs> breed, breed. You guys are not hungry. Why are you following me if you're not hungry? 
or can I simply not do it from on top? There we go. Can't do it from on top. You cannot be on top. You cannot be on top of the and uh, get the sheet, the sheet to mate. All right. The funny thing is, it really looks like these um, uh, block high gates actually work to keep the uh, babies in place. How's this working out for you? So far, it seems to be working well. What? Say hello to my little friend. Where are you? Where are you? Over here. By these two trees. I hear you. Over here. But turn around. Wrong way, okay. Did you set something on fire? I might have. <laughs> might have? <laughs> I might be a, a pyromaniac, just believe it. Where are you? You jumped in the ocean, I take it, right? Here, here, you you jumped blub, blub. <laughs> so why? <laughs> you were standing there a few seconds ago. It's not working, the lag. <laughs> and I got out of the way as soon as I saw what you were doing. Come back here. Come back here. Oh! So, it turns out it is definitely not just jumping and landing on farmland that makes it uh, go bad. Just Falling one block can make it go bad. Yeah. Look at the block of fire. It's a block of fire. How? Because logic is impaired. <laughs> no, I mean, how did you manage to light fire in the air? There was a... Uh, I'm a fire wizard. <laughs> That's how. All right. Okay. I'm going to start harvesting some of these pumpkins. Hey, Michael, do you have any, do you have any gunpowder, any chance? There should be like six or seven gunpowders in there at least. No more. I think there's 14 gunpowder. You're not, we don't have enough. Don't waste TNT. I'm only using five. We're only using five. What? I'm only using five. Twenty in here. No, no, no. The TNT is too valuable. Not that valuable. Do not waste the gunpowder. Do you have out do you have any idea how many times I died getting that gunpowder? What explosion? Where are you? I am ooh, I am harvesting pumpkins. I'm smashing pumpkins, that's what I'm doing. So, if I were to ask you who's doing more damage to the farmlands, you or the sheep, what would your answer be? <laughs> I'd say that nature is taking its course and creates a sprouting out of nowhere. No, they don't sprout out of nowhere. They sprout out of being planted. And I they didn't plant them much. in the farm. They can sometimes. <laughs> like one in a million chance, whatever 
company anywhere. No. The trees don't do damage to health. They, yes, they do. I've been killed by a tree. Seriously, you don't know how to be killed by a tree? Well, I've been trying to do that to you for the past four and a half. It's not really working. You've been trying to kill me with a tree. I, I mean, what? <laughs> it's hard to kill somebody with a tree because they have to be standing still. You should stand still for half a second. All right, I'm standing still for a half a second. You're using bone meal, aren't you? <laughs> Is that it? You're trying to bone meal even to a tree? <laughs> well, what I'm really trying to do is bone you over. Instead of... I always wanted to do that, drop someone in a prison of trees. Well, I did it to myself one of the earliest times that I've played. Just to see what would happen? No. I built myself a tree farm, then went and took my dog for a walk. Oh, God. I didn't know at that time that they would grow and suffocate you. Well, here's the thing. If you plant the saplings in a uh, 20 by 5 block, you will grow 100 trees but only have about um, seven or eight trees worth of leaves. Right. So that was basically what I did. And when I realized that I was down to just a couple of saplings, I started spreading them out so I could grow saplings again. Ah. Well done. I, I managed to ramp up the saplings instead. Oh, come on. I installed a uh, tree chop program to help with chopping these giant trees down, and it's working fine on the don't little kill trees. The giant and tree. what? Oh, come on, don't kill the giant tree. It's too pretty. Uh, too late. Damn it, Michael. We'll grow another giant tree. Okay. So now is all of the. Farmland damage, no, not all of it is repaired. No, but I got about 10 saplings. Yeah, why you not? You have 13 saplings in your chest now. What was that? You have 13 saplings in your chest, or saplings in your chest, saplings. I'm playing too much magic. <laughs> Sapples! Here, Jesus, Michael. What? The cows, they breathed like rabbits. The correct phrase in this game is they bred like like trees. Oh god. Trees make, breed I'm like rabbits in this game. I'm gonna make you some leather armor. Wow, I killed like five cows and got two leather. It's kinda of sad. Yeah, well you really need a looting sword before you go after the cows. It's a what? Looting sword before you go after the cows. A looting sword. A what sword? Looting. Oh, oh, oh. Like a enchanted sword. Right. I haven't got to do much of the enchanted table yet. As a diamond is kind of hard to come by. Well, they're not hard. I simply haven't made it. Armor, but I ended up getting like 10 stakes and 2 leathers, so that's not yeah. going to happen. It's not hard to get um, ten steaks and two leather. Yeah. Stop wasting the cows. I'm using them for their intended purpose to be slaughtered and feed us. I've managed to obtain five leather somehow. Good. How many cows are left? Um, less than there were before. Well, please tell me you left us a breeding stock. Of course. Good. You got three left. That's not a breeding stock. Of course it is. A breeding stock it a breeding stock is at least fifteen to twenty, so that you can plop what down. What else would they be used for though? What? What else are they used for? 
is his brave? I mean, we got to kill him at some point. Yes, but you kill them after we've got 20 plus of them so we can harvest a full set of, of leather after we, after we kill them. Which is why you want, which is why you want to have a lot of them, because right now it'll take forever to grow enough of them to get another suit of armor. I'm already, saw, I'm already on it, and it's not even a suit. It's gonna be a piece of armor. Right. So what kind of armor would you like? Boots or helmet? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. Boots will give me feather falling, and a, a helmet it's will give me respiration. Fine. So helmet, helmet. Respiration is preferred. Wait a minute, they give different abilities? Well, you can enchant them to right into the water. You can enchant them. And I would much okay. rather I would much rather have respiration than feather fall. Okay. Yeah, I I would be the other way around because I'm falling off from being all the time and whatnot. Watch your step! It's not that difficult. Yes, it is, it's very difficult. I looked at an eight tendency to go towards them. Alright. Oh. Oh. Down. Come and take a look at this. You have a giant tree. Come and take a look at it. Uh -huh. Beautiful. Alright. I will cool. leave that one there for you. Note that it's right by the tree farm. Sniffle. It's amazing. What was that? Did you get the little cap? Not yet, no. Where are you? I'm just right behind you trying to give it to you. And it okay. To then I've stopped. I'm stopping and I'm walking over to you. I'm right in... There we go. I see uh, it. And... Okay, how do I look? All right. Great. Oh, oh, Daniel Crockett hats or no? Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Davy Crockett. Davy Crockett. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. So. Did you just wreck the farmland? They're loose? They're loose? The baby sheep. The baby sheep can get out. I see that. Okay. Try it. Try it. Okay, so I'm inside I'm inside and I'm holding wheat. I'm inside and I'm holding wheat. Where's the baby? Alright. Feed. That what? <laughs> I forgot how it got there. Disappeared under mysterious circumstances with some cooked lamb around. <laughs> So exactly how does a sheep manage to jump two and a half blocks into the air to stand up? I don't know. These baby sheep are like superhumans. Like they're, they're like X-Men or something. They're like the mutant sheep. That makes sense. Yeah. Mutant sheep. Mutant sheep. Okay. Spontaneously combust. The spontaneous. And eggs. What I'm not going to do is any type of automatic uh, mob killing or experience farm. Uh, I'm going to do something that sets my uh, Minecraft playing videos apart from everybody else. And I realize that the whole idea of these automatic experience farms goes against the whole point of experience being a challenge. So no. But it's not for the experience, it's for the feathers and whatnot. And again. Uh, 
they're supposed they're supposed to be difficult things that you have to actually breed the chicken for. Still gonna make a place for our table of enchanting though, that's gonna happen. Oh absolutely we're gonna have to enchanting. Actually, the real question is how we're going to keep um, everybody from spreading. Given that the babies are leaking out of the current system. They might need to expand the island a bit. Yeah. Given that the babies are leaking out of the current system, I think the answer has to be that we use the cow system of the exterior gate to catch anybody who leaks. Right. I mean, not the... No other system seems to be working. So let's start making cows. What are you doing? Being annoying as hell. Yeah, obviously. Uh, Who's taking damage? Where are you? Pyro! <laughs> Put your flint and steel away. Put your flint and steel away. All right, all right. Okay. Not my fault, though. Here's one giant tree, and this is... No, this is a normal tree. I didn't plant another sapling right next to that one. Leave my tree alone. My giant tree alone. I'll leave your giant alone, but this guy's coming down. What's this guy? Oh, come on! What? So, the first rule is we're going to use a layer around. So, if we... What in the... There is a sheep completely out of the pen. Just went into the water. And I'm looking in the water for it, and I don't see it. Oh, I bet I know what happened. It probably got server lagged back into the pen without uh, without realizing it. All right. <laughs> Ridiculag.